This video is sponsored by NVIDIA Studio and SCAN. So, we finally did it, the cameras are rolling, I thought it was about time I stuck my mug on screen and brought you this latest episode of Guide Runner in person. For this week's artwork, we're going to keep things simple, lessen the number of assets needed, and focus more on creating a solid blend using some high quality stock images. Be sure to stick around until the end of the video where I'll be sharing with you my one to watch artist pick of the week. Before we run it, let's hear from the sponsor of this video. For this video, I'll be using a 16-inch Lenovo IdeaPad provided by Scan. This is an entry-level NVIDIA Studio laptop with an RTX 3050 that will accelerate a whole array of creative applications like some of my personal favorites, Adobe Photoshop and After Effects, as well as other applications like Premiere Pro, Blender, DaVinci Resolve, the list goes on. NVIDIA Studio speeds up your workflow, providing you with super resolution features, faster timeline and rendering performance. More specifically to Photoshop, the RTX accelerated GPU speeds up your workflow and provides neural filters that enable complex adjustments like when using Smart Portrait in just seconds. Super Resolution uses AI to upscale images with higher quality than traditional methods, intelligently enlarging photos while maintaining clean edges and preserving those important details. And there are over 50 GPU accelerated features enabling artists to modify and adjust images smoothly and quickly. If you're wondering where you can get your hands on hardware within NVIDIA Studio. Scan is one of the UK's biggest PC components and hardware shops that sell a range of pro audio, video and hardware for creatives. Scan is also one of the biggest resellers of NVIDIA Studio certified products in Europe. Be sure to check out their website where you can find a whole range of NVIDIA Studio certified laptops and desktops built to meet your creative needs. Links in the description. With all that being said, there's only one thing left to do. Let's run. Okay, so for this piece I wanted to dial things back just a little bit and focus on working with fewer assets whilst hopefully still maintaining a certain level of creativity and quality in the final image. It's not uncommon for me to use over 50 assets when creating photo manipulation artwork, but for this one I've managed to stick to just 12, which might actually be a record for this channel. One of the benefits of having access to premium stock websites means a wider range of high quality images are available to you, and with a little bit of planning and thought, you can create dynamic, engaging pieces of artwork using only a few select images. And that's what we're going to be aiming for today. So I've kicked things off with this background image, which is a perfect example of what I've just mentioned. More often than not, I'd have to spend time building this background from multiple images, but with the right resources and some solid time spent looking around, I already have a decent background image that needs little work. Just a quick hue shift and then I'm ready to add in these smoke effects. For this, I'll set the blending mode of the layer to screen and then adjust the brightness. I'll then apply a little bit of blur to the background, making sure to convert the layer for smart filters first so I can alter the amount of blur later on if I choose. Dropping in our main character already, which is definitely going to take the most time to develop, make sure it looks nice and pretty. So first up, we're just going to scale them down a bit and position them off to the left side. And then just dive in and start going crazy with the different adjustment layers. We want to match the lighting and colors to the existing environment as best we can, so we've got brightness and contrast, selective color, exposure, and color balance to begin with. Okay, so definitely flying at the moment, making some good progress, but I just couldn't resist making things a little bit more difficult for myself, and with the idea I've got in mind, the direction of her eyes isn't quite where I want them. So I'm gonna drop in another asset on top so that she's looking an inch higher. Yeah, I hope it's worth it. To be fair, I also really like the torch lights on this image and can definitely make use of those too. So I'm moving that into position, masking away any unwanted parts, and then I need to blend it with the image beneath it. So let's crack on with that.
It's proving a little bit stubborn, but it's slowly getting there. The bottom half colours of the helmet aren't quite matching the top half, so that's something that needs to be fixed. Also, some of the blends and lines aren't quite matching up, so that's something I'll have to fix later on. Using a soft round brush and the eyedropper tool to match the colour, I can then fill in and round off this torch light. Cool, you've seen the thumbnail, you probably know what's coming next. It's time for some butterflies. Or butterflies, as I would say. Now again, this asset already looks pretty awesome as it is. It has that unique, otherworldly look to it. I'm just going to emphasize the neon, ultraviolet aspects of it and create some nice, pretty glows. This then creates a nice opportunity to introduce some purple highlights which we can then paint onto our character. I'll probably have to increase the intensity of the butterfly glow at some point to justify the intense highlights on the face. Our right side torch is missing some light bloom, so let's paint that in with our trusty soft round brush using a blue colour fill adjustment layer set to screen. There isn't a strong sense of light direction for this piece, I think it's more of an evening nighttime setting, so I'll be keeping any rim lights on the character to a minimum, except where it's necessary for the light given off by the torches and butterfly. A common mistake I see, which I'm guilty of myself sometimes, is simply adding too many rim lights or highlights that are too strong and just aren't justified by the lighting in the environment. Next, I'm going to drop in around five more butterflies, placing them around the scene, looking for the best composition, and then alter the brightness and contrast of each one and change the hue to match the purple of the first butterfly. These insects also present a nice opportunity to create some depth of field, so we'll apply some Gaussian blur and maybe a bit of motion blur to them as well. Okay, cool, that's looking all right. I found this nice looking image of some wispy smoke, which I'm gonna place in behind our character. I'm not sure what exactly it's supposed to be, but I kind of like how it looks, so let's just leave it in. And using the same image to create some vapor-like trails left by these extraterrestrial butterflies. It's all looking a bit too clean, so let's add in some floating specks of dust or spores to help give the scene a bit of texture. Adding in a few highlights and then I'll drop some flares on top of our torches with the blending mode set to screen 
and just erase some of the edges so we've got a nice few light rays without the effect being too strong. Alright, nearing the end now, just making a few adjustments, adding in some extra lighting before we get to the final image reveal. And here's what we've ended up with. This piece took around an hour, an hour and a half to create. It's a pretty simple concept. There's a few things that maybe need a bit more work. I think the surrounding butterflies could maybe give off a bit more glow, but overall for the time spent on it, I'm pretty pleased with how it turned out. One to Watch is a feature I've been running in the community section of the Phase Runner channel for some time where I shout out another artist's YouTube channel. But now I want to take it a little further and open it up to artists on Instagram also. This week's One to Watch is Sammy Visual. I'm a big fan of his composition setups, the lighting, glows, and he's able to make even the less action-focused images ooze drama. Be sure to check out Sammy Visual over on Instagram. To be in with a chance to get featured, simply use the hashtag #PhaseRunnerCommunity when posting your next artwork, and hopefully you'll be the next one to watch. Another big thank you to Nvidia and Scan for sponsoring this video. Remember to click the link in the description and check out their range. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and comment, and don't forget to subscribe for more Photoshop content.